Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be learning how can we use G Suite or maybe Zoho Suite instead of Webmail. Okay. So the first thing which we will be doing is to uh, find a domain name for which we have to integrate these uh, emails. So uh, the name of the domain is globalgroupconsultancy.com. So what I will do, I will simply go to whois or bnsecret.org. And then I will check the NS records of this domain. So now I can see the this domain Global Group Consultancy is being hosted with I think uh, Hostinger. So the uh, records NS records are uh, ns1.dnstracking.com and ns2.dnstracking.com. So let me open uh, the Hostinger account. I will first uh, log into the Hostinger account, and now I have to browse. The domain name here global growth consultancy.com and I will go to manage. So, if you are using any C panel or maybe uh, any other control panel, you have to uh, search the domain name or maybe the website and go to the drone editor or DNS editor. So now I have uh, landed to zone or DNS editor and now at first I will be deleting all the MX records of this domain. I can't find any MX record here. MX let us search. So I can see two MX records here. The first is mx1.hostinger and the second is mx2.hostinger.com. So let me delete both the, the, both the records. So the first is deleted and the second is also deleted now. Perfect. So now uh, I have logged into Zoho uh, G Suite Home. Uh, if you want to integrate uh, Gmail G Suite or Google G Suite, uh, G Suite uh, you can uh, directly go to G Suite, create an account, you can directly go here, create an account, and do the other things respectively. Okay. And uh, if you uh, want to integrate Zoho Suite, and in that case, you just have to go to Zoho Home and now I will be going to Zoho Mail. I have already created the account for this client and I have to put the password again. Confirm password. So here, I have to uh, give the phone number once again. So I have got the OTP from the client and now I have verified the phone number. So uh, let me uh, use this options first. Create domain based email account in Zoho. Again, okay, username at the your domain.com. I will click on proceed. And now uh, Zoho is asking me to uh, choose my plan, but for the time being, I will be using the free plan. And here I will be adding the existing domain name. So the domain name which I have already so new, let me copy it and paste it here. Automation name, industry type, and it. Proceed to domain verification. Now I will have to go to the domains zone editor once again and copy the value from here. So I have already uh, in the same page and I have to add this txt record name will be at the rate and the value will be this one. So to make the propagation faster I will be using a lower TTL value and add record. So it may take some time. Okay. Now I will click on verifying or verify the record. The record has now been verified and let me check which uh, so let me create one email account for this client info at the rate uh, global group consultancy dot com. Okay. So mailbox, I can see the mailbox here. Storage security, change password. Let me create the password here.
okay so now i have uh, created one email id and the name of the email is info at uh, globalgrowthconsultancy.com and again i will go to uh, mailbox and here i will add one more email id yeah i will add one more email id and the name of the email is contact or Okay. Okay. So I have uh, created two email ID, okay, two email accounts here, and now we'll go to create groups. Proceed to set up uh, groups. Let me check, and we don't have to create any group here. This is not so mandatory. Now we have to do the DNS mandatory things. So the MX records which we have uh, deleted from this page, now we have to use the MX records of Zoho. So at first I will select MX here and the name will be Etheret. MX server is this one and priority is 5 I think. Sorry, priority is 10 and now I will choose a lower value here. Again, MX and uh, let me copy the mail server. MX2.zoho.in and priority is 10 I think sorry 20 and if you are setting up this suit this is same the process is almost same okay now I'll be copying the MX value once again and the priority will be 50 and detail value I will reduce it to 3600 and SPL value at first, I have to remove this SPF value from here. So I will select TXT record and I have to delete the previous uh, TXT record. And now I will add one new TXT record here so that the mails do not land to the spam or the trace folder 3600. And the last thing which we have to do is to uh, verify the domain. It will also be a TXT record. This is the value and 3600. Alright. Okay. Okay. So we are done. Now we will click on verify. The DNS records may take a while to get and reflect. And let us go to email migration. And we don't have to migrate any data. Let us go to mobile. We don't have to download the mobile. And let us check our inbox right now. And let me try giving a mail to my personal Gmail ID. Okay. Email. Email. Okay. Let me check my email. I should be able to see the email here, but I think I need to wait some time. Oh, so now I can see the mail here info at the global .com. So if I wait for some time, like uh, let me reply to this email. Yes, success. So if we wait for some time till the domain, uh, all the records of the domain gets properly configured, by that time we'll be able to check the mail in our inbox. Okay. Alright, so this is the process of uh, using webmails, sorry, using G Suite or maybe Outlook or maybe uh, Joho Suite instead of using webmail or the free mail given by the control panels. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for more updates.